Happy Halloween! Hey peeps, Jess here, and today we're covering my favorite part of the Halloween experience, candy! And not just any candy, mind you, we are covering allergy friendly candy, but with one major asterisk at the end because I had to include chocolate. So today we will be taste testing four ghoulish Halloween delights, and I will tell you guys how they actually taste because I haven't had them in ages. Sorry there's no candy corn, I, I really don't like candy corn. Leave a comment below if you like candy corn, and if you if you need some candy corn, I'll make it happen. I just, I don't personally like candy corn, so it's not, it, it's biased. And with that, let's taste test candy. Number one, spooky shapes from Surf Sweets. These guys are gummy candies. They've got their, oh my god, this is a long list. No peanuts, no tree nuts, no milk or casein, no eggs, no wheat, no soy, no fish, no shellfish, no sesame, and no sulfites. Impressive. And the ingredients read like you would expect from a hippie candy. It's mainly pear juice, tapioca syrup, some sugar, lemon juice, pectin, carrot juice, absorbic acid, sunflower oil, carnauba wax, and a few other chemical goodies. Mainly it's sugar and a little bit of flavor. But that's why we love Halloween candy. Oh dear, I don't know how to get this bag open. Okay, um, always have giant scissors on hand when you need to open up Halloween candy. That's so much better. Whoa, there's quite a chemical smell just from the bag. Even though there's these little friendly guys here, like, it smells kind of like pear and chemical. Like pear cleaning solution? This guy doesn't smell like that though. And another nice thing I do like is that the actual mini bag itself is telling you all about the allergies it's free of so that even parents getting this little guy could check it off their list. My downside is that the bag is not very full of candy. There's like four pieces in here. If we're gonna be wasting plastic, I want there to be way more candy in here. This is not satisfying enough for me. Try it. Get it open. I'm gonna say right now, Surf Sweets, not easy to open. Like there's a little cut out here, but it's not easy to grab. I had to open the back. Not satisfying. For our troubles, we get six pieces of candy. We've got we've got little spiders, little pumpkins, and what look like really malformed witches' hats. Okay. Also, one of the spiders is very sad and kind of stiff and not tempting. Let's try a cherry spider at least. It's a softer chew than you would expect. It's like one of the soft licorices you'll get from Trader Joe's and a very gentle chew. So it's not gonna be hard on someone's jaw if you have TMJ, but it's not a satisfying chew, strangely. And it's not very intensely flavored, like it's more almost apple mellow and then cherry note at the end and just kind of chilling there. I want more of a pop for my Halloween treats. They need to be intense, like my pancakes. Well, let's try a pumpkin, see if we get better luck with our pumpkin friends. That's more like it. Way more orange flavor, way more flavor, period. They're very sweet though, all of them. Just very like a pop of sugar. I would like it to be a bit less sweet personally, but I also see like kids really wanting that sugar hit. So at least the orange does deliver, the cherry doesn't deliver. And I want cherry to always be the star of the show personally. But at least the orange is good, so that's nice. Next, lollipops from Yum Earth. Now, lollipops to me are like mid to low tier on the candy scale. They're not visually interesting. They're lollipops, but lollipops are one of the more safe options for a lot of candy options. And they can have way more flavor than some soft candies, I will let you know. So we're trying them. Let's do this. And this guy is nine allergen free. It's not mentioning a lack of sulfites, but really, Big difference here is that there are two sugars starting this show. There's organic cane sugar, and then there's also brown rice syrup, and then citric acid. So I'm hoping for a sweet tart with some flavor, please. There's even turmeric involved for color and black currant flavor, and radish is involved somehow. I'm not making this up. There is radish in the ingredient list. So if there's no flavor here, I will be confused. 
candy wise, this is not satisfying. It's a very, very short candy and it's got a little tiny lollipop and even the cute bats cannot save how small this candy is. As an adult, this is a really nice size. I just wish that the actual stick was longer. Needs more bats, way more bats. Why is this not a bat-shaped lollipop? We got standards to uphold here, yummers. We need a bat-shaped lollipop. And this guy is the strawberry, so we're hoping for some good hit of strawberry flavor. It tastes like eating a strawberry fruit roll-up. It's very sugar then strawberry, so like strawberry jam flavored, not strawberry. It's definitely more on the sweet side of strawberry than the tart. I actually would like to have some tart flavor just to make this a bit more surprising than just strawberry. And it's very kid strawberry, which is, which you know, makes sense for the audience. It's just like, if you have citric acid as ingredient number three, I'm hoping for some sour and I'm not getting that. So it's not a bad lollipop, it's just, Needs more bats. Number three, spooky. No, they're not spooky, they're, they're chewy fruities. These are basically hipster starbursts. Not the most hipster starbursts. That would belong to Quinn Candy, who forever has my heart for those hipster starbursts. The dreams come true if you haven't had them before are epic. These guys are closer to what you think of as starburst down to the wrapper, but they're allergy friendly. So this guy is no GMOs, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no dairy, no wheat, no corn syrup, no gluten, no casein, no soy. So it's fewer on the allergen set, but it's still covering the basics. And again, no artificial colors or flavors, it's nice. Also with this guy, the first two ingredients, they are organic brown rice syrup and organic cane syrup and then organic palm shortening. So we're going for clearly a softer thing, but also very, very sweet. I expect these to be so sweet. Let's try them. Oh, finally, one that opened. Ugh. What is this smell? It smells kind of like nail polish remover, kind of like acetone with a fruit base. Got them in baggies. It feels like choo-choos and a pretty small bag, so it's not too bad of a ratio of empty air to candy. On the downside for parents, it doesn't list the allergens on the back. And then on top of that, oh boy, hidden back here. Manufactured in a facility that processes nuts, dairy, and soy. So if you need to be super careful on that, these guys aren't your friend after all. The ingredients are okay, but if you need to be completely sterilized facility-wise, no go. Moving on, let's try the candy. So they're both sour cherry, which is the disappointing thing that can happen with Starburst. So not to spread them there, but sour cherry is a good one to be stuck with. So I'm not actually complaining more. I wanted to have some variety in my variety pack. Just like Starburst, they're a mess to open. Okay, smells like cherry, big, sweet cherry. I feel like I just had Laffy Taffy. It opens with this artificial sugary note that I associate with like Laffy Taffy type things and airheads. And then it opened into a little bit of tart and a little bit of cherry. Not my jam. On the other hand, I love the chew. It's got a really lovely soft chew. It's not sticking to my teeth. Seriously, that can be a nightmare. And I did feel like I got a good candy experience out of it. My problem really was the opening with that artificialness. Like I wanted there to just be sugar and sweet. The tart's really building at the end. Like it's not intensely tart to start, but the longer I sit here, the more sour I taste actually. And it's almost going to bitter. Last, but not least, but certainly the most risky, Ocho's Candy Back. If you actually look at the sky in general, the actual base is not super great here. I mean, we've got caramel and peanut butter. So we're talking about a lot of the major allergens all in one bag. But I wanted to try this coconut guy because it's using dark chocolate. And because of that, the ingredient list is really, really small. So we've got dark chocolate made with cacao, cane sugar, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, organic tapioca syrup, organic coconut, sugar, water, sea salt, soy lecithin, and vanilla. So it does contain tree nuts, if you count coconut, and it is 
processing on shared equipment that processes peanuts, tree nuts, milk, and eggs. So that's worth knowing about. More that this is for those kids who want Snickers in their basket but can't eat them. I wanted to find something that was close, but all the other options were straight up chocolate. And while I like straight up chocolate, that's not what you want in your Halloween basket. You want candy. And I, I wanted to make sure I could give you candy. So we're trying this guy. First thing I noticed that makes me super happy is this guy looks like a candy bar. It's got the little ridges that kind of remind you of Snickers. And it's the right size and shape for a fun size candy bar. And that makes me just so happy because then it, you feel more normal when you eat this kind of candy as opposed to being given all the allergy friendly stuff all day or the lollipops. This feels like you've had Halloween experience. That being said, I don't actually like coconut candy this much, so I'm wondering how this is gonna go. Look, let's try it. So it's not pure coconut mush inside here. There's a soft coconut, almost paste, with some little bits of shredded coconut that give it some definitely needed texture, along with a very dense undercoating of chocolate. It makes it a little bit harder to eat than you might think because that base of chocolate means that when you go to bite it, there's more pressure so it doesn't just snap as easily, but it's still a satisfying amount of chocolate and a satisfying amount of coconut. I would like salt. I would always like salt. I do have a concern that this is too dark for little kids. It just feels very dark chocolate. Like I'm thinking this is like a 60-ish percent or higher, which I know for chocolate people, that's not a lot of chocolate, but for a little kid, that's a ton of chocolate. It's so dark. They can barely handle it. So this is one where I'd be a little bit concerned with giving to little kids, but maybe for someone who's a little bit older, maybe a teenager who's still trying to be in the Halloween spirit, this is a good option. So which one of these would I hand out for trick-or-treating? Likely Sir Sweets. I may have been really harsh on the cherry, but the orange is legitimately awesome. And on top of that, it's the closest thing to feeling like you're having a Halloween experience. The Ocho is great with their candy bar, but it's still something where I can't give it out to everyone and guarantee that they're going to be okay with it. So I have to have like a covers everyone, tastes good, feels like at least a mid-tier quality candy, going with this guy. What are you handing out for trick-or-treating? Are you handing out something allergy-friendly or are you going for the big awesome candy? I would love to hear all about it. And with that, I'll catch you awesome beeps next time. Laters!